Welcome to another Philosophy Friday. This week's topic is exploring this notion that the things you like to, or least like to do are the things you should be doing because those are the things you need to work on to make progress. Where this idea holds water is the fact that we humans like to kind of embrace and go along with our strengths and stay away from the things that we're typically not very good at which can create imbalances and weaknesses that can hold you back. Where this idea kind of misdirects us is sometimes there's a very good reason why you're not motivated to do something and that's reason enough that you shouldn't be doing these things. Either maybe your body's just not built for it, you're not adequately trained for it, it doesn't align with your goals. So there's a number of reasons why something may not jive with you and there's good reason to listen to that and find something else to do. The key thing is to recognize the things you don't like to do and weaknesses that may be there and to look at it and say, is this something that can potentially hold me back from my goals? Like for me, swimming is a huge detriment. Like I can't swim, I don't like swimming, I'm not one much for the water. If I was a triathlete, that would be a big weakness and I should be working on it because I need to swim in order to do triathlons. But I'm not, and I don't do anything whatsoever that involves water or swimming, so it really doesn't matter to any of my goals, so there's no point in me forcing myself to get into the pool on a weekly basis. This is one of the big benefits to fitness independence philosophy in the book that I had wrote where when we have objectives that are very general, like you want to lose weight, get stronger, build muscle, something that's not terribly specific, there's a ton of ways you can make this happen. But there's a lot of messages within our fitness culture saying you have to eat this one specific way, you have to exercise this way, or you're not strong unless you do this one type of exercise. None of this is at all true because general goals can be approached from any number of angles and there are very few rules that are absolutely 100% mandatory that you have to follow. So what this means is if there's a rule, a method, or something that just doesn't jive with you very well, chances are you can probably get around it, minimize it, or just discard it entirely because you're probably better off using something else that can help you satisfy the root cause of the goal, be it weight loss or building muscle, and trying to force yourself to do things that you don't like to do is maybe even more detrimental because you're not gonna be very motivated for it, you're not gonna put as much time and energy into it, and you're still not going to get quite as much as you can out of it. Check out the book on Amazon, links are down below. Be fit, live free.